It's the I Can't Mom Today podcast with Heather, the new mom, and Vera, the <clears throat> seasoned mom. I Can't Mom Today. Hey, this is Vera and Heather back again with another episode of I Can't Mom Today podcast. Hi, Vera. Hello, Heather. How's it going? It's going okay. You know, you know, it's going okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's we had, um, this is going to be the, dang it, knock on wood right now, the first um, week that I think we've had normal in a long, 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 young, young, young time. Young time. Because we, you know, <laughs> we went out of town. I was working. We came back in town. I was working. Baker was here with me. Like, so he's been with me for a very young time. And he went to school, as everyone knows, and then got COVID. So I had to stay home the second week of school. <laughs> so school five, four days home with COVID. And I mean, he was fine. He was fine. The only reason why I tested him, honestly, is because he had a stuffy nose. One morning I was like, I just, listen, he's going to go to the, he's going to this new like Monday day camp because we don't have school on Mondays. And I don't want him to get other kids sick if this is COVID. You know, like even, even though at this point, I think we can, a majority of us can say that it has moved to typical flu cold type things, not saying that people aren't dying from it because people are just like they die from the flu every year. Um, yeah. but it's, it's a less severe than it had been. So it's not so scary anymore. Um, yeah. it's still, it still triggers a lot of people for, yes. for various reasons and legitimately, but in any event, I don't want to be the cause of someone else getting sick because this is the parameters that we're, we've been given. I'm, I'm a responsible person. <laughs> so I just tested him. I was like, mother, you know, and I was like, Ugh. yeah. And so he was home with me all last week. And yeah, so we, you know, kept him home the five days of the, the school district requires, and we had two negative COVID tests. So bye-bye buddy. <laughs> Bye. So yeah, yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is um, my cleaning lady's granddaughter just came up with it. But again, thankfully, it's just it's just basically a cold, mm -hmm. you know. For so, the majority. For the majority, yes. For the mass course. majority, majority, majority. Not like. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's still, yeah, like you said, it can still be triggering and everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, well, I'm literally putting out fires. I've just... <laughs> I mean, well, not, nothing major. It's just like I kind of fell behind and just regular everyday housekeeping stuff, you know. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. And so, you know, I get a call from my bank. And the bank's like, hey, you know, your credit card tried to process a payment and you didn't have enough funds. And then I get my credit card company going, hey, you didn't have enough funds. And I'm like, oh, it's because I used the wrong account. So little mm -hmm. stuff like that. Then I had to, you know, go in, change the account, call the bank. And I was grateful. The bank is really cool. To, you know, it's nice of them to call me and say, hey, heads up, you know, instead of like getting a letter a month from, from now saying, by the way, you were just charged a gazillion fees, you know. Yeah. So and then I finally cut the cord. Oh, and my gosh. I Wait. no longer have satellite TV. Oh, my God. What are you going to do? Yes, I got. Well, anybody who knows me knows I'm a TV aholic. Yes. So I was very nervous about doing this because mm -hmm. I'm addicted to 90 Day Fiance and all the iterations of 90 Day Fiance, as well as several mm -hmm. other shows. Mm -hmm. So um, a friend of mine also, too, I was worried about us getting uh, uh, sports, you know, especially Florida yeah. State sports. Well, talk to a couple of friends and they swore by YouTube TV which ends up being approximately after fees and everything, probably about $75 a month if you don't Holy add anything cow. on. Well, we were paying 220 with our satellite Holy TV. Cow. Yeah. So of course, like when I, and then I was dreading calling the satellite TV company. I think I may have talked about this a yeah, while listen, ago. I'm willing to take that on for you. I'm willing to. Take I that did do it. I did it. I'm, okay. I put on my big girl panties and I called them because I knew I was going to get the sales pitch with, well, you know, we can reduce your bill if you take off this and take off that and leave for three months for free. You'll get, you know, that whole thing. Actually, the guy on the phone wasn't too bad. He only had like two rebuttals for me. <laughs> so after the second one, I was just like, you know, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Yep. So he's like, totally understand. It's okay. And it was pretty seamless um, so far. Um, so literally before we started the podcast today, I was going around because I'm supposed to bring all of the old equipment. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you minus the internet, freaking satellite right? dish. Yeah, I have, have internet. 
So that's what the YouTube TV goes through. It's just internet. Okay. It's internet. But yeah, yeah. But you have, but you're still using them for internet, not just not the TV part. No, uh, uh-uh, no. I'm using uh, Metronet, which is fiber, fiber optic. Oh, dang it! We don't have fiber. Yeah. Jealous. Okay. Yeah, we just got it in our neighborhood, and so Ooh, far it's been pretty uh, cool. Uh, yeah, we had Google like at, at my old at the Spider House, but this house we don't have any. We don't have fiber yet yeah. anyways sorry so anyway so far so good and i was just literally picking up all the equipment i'm like i hope they don't want the freaking satellite back because no, that's <laughs> we got to get figure out how to get rid of that though I'm, i guess take it to the dump or whatever because i don't you know i don't know what to do with it otherwise yeah we have one um, inside of our house mm-hmm. it's just gonna so, stay there yeah so and, and so doing that and just just trying to catch up on 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 just normal everyday stuff. And Jerry always says he's like, "This is going to sound depressing, but you know, you spend a good majority of your life just shut up with maintenance." <laughs> and it's true if you don't keep up with your bills, because that's what it was. I let mine stack up, and it wasn't that I didn't have the money. It's just I was like, I just don't want to think about it right now. I just can't. I mean, Why don't you just do auto draft? Um, I do on some of my bills, but not all of them because here lately, my income hasn't been the way it used to be. So Uh, I'm literally like paycheck to paycheck. So God forbid something is the wrong way and it draws, then Mm -hmm. when I don't have enough, then there goes a big fee. Whereas if I'm watching it, I can finagle and be like, okay, I can wait to pay this one and not pay a fee. And I can pay this one, you know, that whole thing, which I'm sure. Can you put it on a credit card? Yes, I have done that with a few bills. Yes. Okay, yeah, because we do our as many bills as humanly possible. We go through our credit card, um, just so we don't have to keep an. I don't want to keep an eye on my bank account. I'm like, oh, oh, oh because mm-hmm. our majority of our money comes in middle of month. A lot of bills are yeah. first of the month, and that's how it was set up because we were getting paid twice a month, and now I'm getting paid once a month. So, in any event, um. We do a lot of our bills on credit card. Just we know it's coming in. I have a spreadsheet. All the other stuff we use cash on, so it mm-hmm. shouldn't be an issue with it with the bank account. But um, yeah. So I, that kind of leads me into what our conversation is going to be about today, which is intentionality and like doing things with intention. And I, I feel like I, I've always operated by the seat of my pants, like boom, boom, boom. Okay, boom, uh-huh. boom, just reactive, and I'm just trying to switch my mindset to intentionality right and so my immediate reaction used to be like oh well this is good for my health so i'm gonna just do this and put money towards this thing and and sometimes it i follow through with it and sometimes i don't and you know just is like so like for example i saw that i was on facebook marketplace and i saw this like little mini treadmill that goes on your desk i was like oh yeah I was like, I should get that. And so then I'm like mm-hmm. researching how my, oh, I'm just like, why are you doing this? You don't even know that you're going to use it. Are you going to use it? And so like, so I'm trying yeah. to and be intentional about like standing up more and then just walking in place and seeing if I do that, if I do that, then will I get, then I can, then I can save up the money to do this. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to be more intentional and focused and you know, I'm doing breathing exercises in the morning. I'm trying to do some stretching because I'm, I feel like I'm 90 and I'm not <laughs> right. I'm like, yes. Well, yeah. Well, for me, it's the, the, the RA will do that to you. And it will, mm-hmm. and well, that, that falls in line too with me trying to be intentional. And that, and there is actually this article it's at simply and uh, we'll put it in the show notes. If you want to check it out, talking mm-hmm. about living an intentional life. Yeah. Um, but one of the things that it talks about is is being purposeful and finding what it is that means to you, what's most important mm-hmm. and and living that, you know, putting those things at the top of the list. And so for me, I like slacked off on going to the gym, partly for health reasons, mm-hmm. um, you know, and I broke my wrist a couple months ago and all this, you know, stuff just kept getting in the way. And I finally, just a few months ago, after my wrist was healed, I said to myself, This is so, it's always, the gym has always been important to me. Anybody who knows me knows that most of my life, I've been consistently working out in some respect or another. Mm -hmm. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to do this. Now, at first I thought, oh, this is great. I have, there's this great uh, class at eight o'clock, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's a Pilates class. I love the teacher, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not good at getting up early. (laughs) 
And I just, I realized it was, it was a real struggle for me to get up early. And rather than beat myself up and try and force mm -hmm. myself to get up early to go to this class, I was like, you know what? I'm going to look at the schedule and see if there's some other classes that I can try that are later in the day that'll still fit with my schedule, you know, like at maybe around lunchtime. Yeah. So that's I what lunch. I decided to do. And so lo and behold, I then I, you know, then I had to get out of my comfort zone because some of these classes I'm not familiar with, or I was worried mm -hmm. maybe I couldn't do them because my RA. And lo and behold, now I've discovered these classes that I really love. And even some old instructor instructors that I hadn't seen in a while that I'm just enjoying it and I'm getting back into the groove. And I have a clear mindset. I'm sleeping better. I'm mm -hmm. not nearly as bitchy. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> I'm just working out. I know that that has got to be at the top of my list, like a mm. probably top three okay. is working out, but maybe that's not for everybody. So yeah. what is like maybe your top three things that you feel like are most important to you? Yeah. Like, yeah. what would you say your top three are you think? Sleep number one, yeah. Number one, sleep. Number two, probably food. Um, and number three <laughs> is just is being able to get up early in the morning and get things done. Because I noticed that if I don't get up early with a baker and we get up at the same time, I feel mm -hmm. like I don't have any time for myself. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it's get him ready, drop him off at school, go to work, work, pick him up, go, you know, go home. And then by the time we put him to bed, which is like seven, seven thirty, then I have to go to bed <laughs> because yeah. I have, you know, otherwise, so Brad wakes up at an ungodly hour, like four 30 in the morning to go work out. And so when he wakes up, I wake up because that's just how I, how I operate. And when I wake up, he doesn't wake up. So it's really frustrating, you know, whatever. And so I, I, I wake up. So I was like, listen, if you are going to continue going to the, the gym in the morning, we have to go to bed by eight 30 at night. Like that is a requirement. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, well, I can go. I'm like, no, I'm fine with you going in the morning. I really am. I just need to go to bed earlier. I cannot go to bed at 10 o'clock and then get up at six at four 30. That just doesn't work for me. Mm -mm. And so that's, so we, you know, we started doing that and it's just, it's, if I don't get up. So and then this morning I got up at 5.00 AM. I'm the only one up in the house. You know, I'm getting ready and getting my tea. I'm sitting down to do my breathing exercises. Breaking Baker wakes up at 5.30. Oh, at and I was like, yeah. oh, God. <laughs> and so, you know, doing my breathing exercises. I'm like, Rrr. I wasn't really that angry, but I was just like, all right, I'll go snuggle with him for a minute. And then I made him come downstairs and do my stretching with me. And then I was like, Hey, I'm going to go upstairs. And I was like, I have time for a shower. So I jumped in the shower real quick. But it's just like, if I don't have that time in the morning, I really get annoyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would say sleep is probably in my top three because mm -hmm. if I don't get enough sleep, but it's like, but again, I can sleep better if I get, if I work out, you know, like yeah. my quality of sleep, I can fall asleep earlier because I am typically a night owl. Again, don't wake up early. You know, I can get up at eight, but getting up before seven is really hard for me. So mm -hmm. Anyway, so that, and then I'd say, well, spending time with my friends is really important to me too. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. at least top five. But yeah, let's do a top five. Cause I, I mean, I feel okay. like food, water, I feel like food sleep is on every, like that takes up two out of three. Yeah. Well, eating the right food. Like, yeah, yeah. Not just yeah. like chips and whatever. Right. Trying mm -hmm. to eat. Cause yes, I do definitely. That has to, especially if, with my autoimmune issues, if I don't eat the right food, everything mm -hmm. falls apart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. literally <laughs> I'm like <laughs> so yeah okay so friends I would say spending time with friends mm -hmm. um and family I mean friends and family that like oh yeah Jerry and Luke um mm -hmm. they're friends too they're friends too <laughs> exactly um so yeah sleep and then what well and also my work making enough money to pay the bills <laughs> like yeah. keeping my my because since my business took a crapper um i will say that that's affected my self-esteem to some degree like i was so used to being like oh you know look at me and my business and it's how successful mm -hmm. it is and you know now having to fight back after covid and the the way that the world has changed that's definitely important to me so that's like something that i've been working on trying to you know climb out of that 
rut, you know, work wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because everybody bought a microphone for Zoom meetings and they think they can be a voiceover. Exactly. (laughs) And well, and like the e-learning went away too, because then people will just record their Zoom meetings and then say, Mm -hmm. okay, just watch the Zoom meeting from, you know, July 31st, Mm -hmm. instead of having to produce a whole explainer video that I would voice. So that was, that was a big chunk. So anyway, yeah. so how about you? What, so wait, your top three, we were saying sleep, sleep, food, time it by myself in the morning. Time by yourself. Getting out of the house. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I, as, as I get older, I'm more of an introvert than I thought I was, mm-hmm. than I was when I said child mm-hmm. or my youth, not child, because like I was an adult at 30, <laughs> but yeah. I, I used to go, I would do everything social. And now I'm like, yeah, uh, maybe not. Cause yeah. I like, you know, I like driving in my car, not in traffic and bumper to bumper is still not my fan. Fine. But if it's like flowing traffic, driving and listening to an ebook, man, what a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's this nice, peaceful, yeah. like you can just, I can identify with that. I too, like when I was younger, I think I had more energy for just the world in general. Yeah. And I think as you get older, especially once you have kids, like yeah. it, you know, as my shrink would say, it, you know, drains your bucket. So mm-hmm. you just, I think you have a lot when you're younger, it's just you and mm-hmm. work and maybe you don't have a husband yet or a kid yet. And so it's just, I think having a family mm-hmm. makes you want to kind of, yeah, it's tiring. So then you, mm-hmm. you want to spend some time alone, just being yeah. quiet mm-hmm. and yeah, we- watching YouTube TV. <laughs> yeah. I, I, so we're looking into getting a, a housekeeper for once or twice a month because I just can't keep so up worth with it, it anymore. Yeah. Worth that's it. what I hear. I hear that. Yes. But so my problem is, is that I've just never been able to afford it. And it's not mm-hmm. that I haven't been able to afford it. Well, no, it really is that I haven't been able to afford it. And so now <laughs> that Baker's not in daycare anymore, we can mm-hmm. afford it. Mm-hmm. And it's going to pro, you know, we're not going to be able to put that money away to save. Mm-hmm. Each, you know, for our retirement, but I'm, I'm looking forward to not having to clean. But also when I used to clean, I would, I just put my headphones in and, and listen to an True. audiobook. So I got my time by myself, but I would much rather spend some dedicated downtime with my family because it mm-hmm. would take away, like I would, you know, here and there cleaning, you know, cleaning a toilet here or there isn't, it wouldn't take up that much time, but I would just like to deep clean like vacuum and dust and all this other kind of stuff. And I'm sorry, if you think, if you think that I am a disgusting person, cause I only do that once a month, I don't care. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no. I just, I don't, because we're not, we're not super messy, honestly. And mm-hmm. like, we're not eating off the floor. I wear slippers in my house. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't, I just don't care. And no. it's just not a priority to me. And I have a lived in house and it's not going to be museum quality. And I'm okay with that. No, well, and honestly, if you can't afford it or find the money, mm-hmm. I, I highly recommend it. Cause then you also, cause Jerry at one point, he was, you know, when, again, when things were really bleak financially, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not, it wasn't that bad. I mean, we mm-hmm. had just enough to pay the bills and he was kind of like, well, you know, maybe we should not keep our cleaning lady because that, that's an extra expense and do it ourselves. And I was like, I will eat ramen noodles. I really, I seriously will just stop ordering, getting delivery food or whatever, because I just know that, a, like you said, well, and again, there's only physically so much I can handle, even though I look pretty good, I'm doing pretty good. My energy and my stamina is not what it used to be, partly mm-hmm. because of the RA. So I'd rather save my energy for going to the gym, for spending time with friends, for, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> to do, getting work done and making money. Um, so to me, I could see that it would become a big argument. It would be mm-hmm. like, well, how come you didn't? There's already, I get a little bit of the martyrdom with the, you know, well, I do the laundry. Oh. Like, yeah, you throw it in the washer and don't fold it. <laughs> um, okay. So I I just could foresee it would create problems. I was like, do you want to do all the floors all the time and clean all the toilets and no. clean the bathrooms? No. I'm, I'm like, he's like, well, I'm already doing a lot of it. I'm like, I'm thinking, no, you're not. And you, especially having animals, you know, the oh, fur God, yes. collects on the floors mm-hmm. and on the furniture. And, mm-hmm. and so I'm like, that it's not, it's not worth it. I, I think we need to find that money. So yeah. I think, what, I think that's a great idea. 
maybe you can again find that money somewhere else or whatever yeah. but well and that's the thing is people with all these like find the money blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's honestly it's not that easy cuz we mm-hmm. already scrimp and save and and don't not save like just scrimp on everything you know we have a very tight budget mm-hmm. on our food and our gas and everything else like i we have a very tight budget so it's not like it, we can get away from doing delivery cuz we don't do delivery we just wow, do, we okay. never we get do. delivery food. We never do it. Like the yeah. most we do is pizza like one time a month. And that's the kind that you just pay them to create it and you still bake it. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, no, see, we're bad about that. I'll get mm. delivery probably once a week. So no, which adds up. Don't. Yeah. But again, I don't eat all that much. So like mm-hmm. one delivery meal will probably be about like five meals, you know, Dang. between the two of it, like. I mean, not 10, I mean, five, literally five, like maybe I'll eat That's three a lot still. times. Yeah. So I don't eat a whole lot. I don't mm. need, and you know, a lot of food is, there's a lot of food. They give you a lot of food. Yeah. So anyway, but I do, well, and with me too, like I don't pay my cleaning lady to do extra stuff now. I used to, like I do my own baseboards. I do my own like mm. deep clean stuff um, to save money. But yeah. I just think if you can afford to, I, I think it's great to go ahead and have somebody at least do the floors for you and mm-hmm. just in the bathroom, you know, the toilets and the, yeah. And like I want to, like I don't really care about anything else, but I want a really clean bathroom and mm-hmm. the kitchen floor. Other mm-hmm. than that, I can do the rest of it like easy every day. I can do it if I wanted to, but I just, and we don't have an animal anymore. So whatever. anyway, sorry, we we're like yeah. on a tangent about cleaning people. So <laughs> yeah. that's going to be something that I'm trying out to see how that feels. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but on this simply fiercely website, there's 10 ways to be intentional every day. And so we'll give you those 10 right now. Be mindful of the media you consume. So one of the another thing about me being intentional is I try not to be on social media much at all anymore, just because I just ugh, ugh, you know, I just well, can't. It's all cons- it can be very consuming. Yes. I watch Re, or whatever the ones are at the top of Instagram. I, I watch those every day and that's it. That is my, that is my top. Uh, like mm-hmm. that's the only thing I do on social media. Um, I was going to say something else about this. I cannot remember. Oops. Okay. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> Choose to be kind. And I know that's really hard sometimes because sometimes you're just in a funk. You're just like, blah, 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 you know, yeah. So, um, do your best. That's oh, easy for me. Honestly. No, it's really an angel. to be kind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> great. You're a good person. So, <laughs> but do you, or like even even in like when you are presented something, and you've touched on this before, it's like somebody says something to you, you're like, Ugh. and instead of, and I'm trying to teach Baker this too because he is re, he's assuming things, and I was like, you're assuming mm-hmm. my intentionality, and you don't know my intentionality, and that mm-hmm. is actually not what I meant to do, you know. So it's maybe choosing to see things. Maybe this person's having a bad day. Maybe they didn't mean that. What's the best case scenario they meant by this this comment? Yeah. Well, yeah. No, that's that. Definitely, don't assume that somebody is coming at you. You know, mm-hmm. you got to see things through their lens, and you don't know what their day's been like. So, yeah. but just definitely. assume that they're coming from a good place versus a terrible place. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and the next one here on this list is kind of like what we've touched on: do something that brings you joy. Mm-hmm. You know, things that, what, what are the things that, you know, it's like spending time with friends and family or going mm-hmm. to the gym, even a good night's sleep. Can a bath. Oh, a bath. That's mm-hmm. a good one. Mm-hmm. Or reading your favorite book too. I need, I want to get back on into reading. Um, oh, ask why before you buy. I've yeah. gotten better about that. Mm-hmm. Although I've never been a huge shopper anyway. Um, yes. Same. But also I I'm, a, I'm a impulse buyer too. Like I see, I'm like, all right, we're getting it. Yeah, I'll, I'll sometimes be guilty of that. And then I'll have buyer's remorse. So mm-hmm. I've learned like, well, I really be happy that I bought that. And most of the time it's like now. So yep. I've gotten better about that. And then and next one, fun. practice active listening. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes you're just like, you're thinking you're in your own head and you're thinking about yeah. other things. I do that all the time, but it's just because something will pop up my head and that's all I can think about is remembering to say this thing because it's... <laughs> Otherwise I'll lose it. And yeah. I do it on this podcast all the time where I'm like, oh, I totally forgot what I was going to say because I <laughs> let go of it. <laughs> so well, and, I'll write it down. I oh, like make a point. note. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just make like a little note sometimes. 
and do that. So you can even do that, even if you're not doing a podcast, if you're on the phone with someone or even in person. Well, sometimes what I'll do is I'll say, hey, wait, I had a thought about that. Can you help me remember that when you're done with what you're saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't do that with everybody, but I I, I do that with close friends. I'll say, mm -hmm. okay, I have a thought about the yellow t-shirt. Can you just like finish what you're saying and then remind me yellow t-shirt? Sure. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I've done that. Cool. Not, I don't think that's rude. No, I mean, that's, that's I will same. say I have made notes before. I'm like, I'm just, I'm, I'm listening, but I'm just writing this down real quick. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, I just like, I'll write like a key, like keyword and that'll yeah. remind me like, oh yeah, yellow t-shirt. Okay. Yeah. Got it. And then make time for self-reflection. So that's yeah, just, which is kind of like your morning, your morning thing, mm -hmm. kind of, you know? Yeah. Do something you can be proud of. Yeah, whatever like that may work. be, whether it's like, like for me, it could be, yeah, it could be your work. It could be volunteering. Mm -hmm. It could be, uh, you made a cake or, you know, maybe you made, I don't know, something like it made a coffee that was just like hit right. Yeah, no, that's true. Sometimes like cooking something, I don't really love to cook, but every once in a while, if I make something really good, I'm like, damn, check me mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And the next one is question your have to's. Mm, yeah. I do this a lot. One. I've started doing this a lot with work where I'm like, no, I don't, I'm not, I'm not doing that right now. Nope. Sorry. Yeah. And then I eventually like it, it, it'll go away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, or yeah. I'll make a, I have like this long list of things to do when time goes down, which is never. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then not beating yourself up about like, if you don't like say like right now, I know there is a pile of laundry sitting on my kitchen <laughs> table that needs to be folded. Do mm. I have to fold it? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would I rather do my work and do a podcast with Heather and, mm -hmm. you know, pet my dog? Yeah. And I'm probably going to let that pile sit there for another day nice. <laughs> and not feel bad about it. And, I, it. you know, until we have like company over, mm -hmm. but that, yeah, I don't have to, you know. Yeah. I only do, I only do it because I don't want, long, I don't want wrinkles. Oh yeah. Well, these are just like sheets and stuff. And <laughs> if you're one of those people that irons your sheets, I hate you. Yeah. Stop. Go. Away. <laughs> I, I figured out a trick because we do, uh, I usually do clothes, then towels. If I do towels mm -hmm. first and I have to fold them, ah. because all, the, all the other stuff is going to go in later. So that's what uh -huh. I said. Hey, well, that's, I love, you know, the little hacks too, the little tricks that you do, do you play yeah. on yourself? I do stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, the next one, prioritize rest and self-care, which yes. we touched on. Yes. And finally, know when it's time to let go. Vera, let we, go. I've been wanting to have a talk with you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> let go of that laundry you, pile on your dining room table. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you do. I, and I used to be somebody that, that constantly had things clean, right? It always, like constant I would vacuum every week but this is when I lived in an 800 square foot apartment or townhouse yeah, so yeah. and I had a dog so I had to have it clean but I just had to have things clean and just, I had a lot of people over all the time like I was constantly having people over so it was important to me but now I'm kind of like eh, just don't yeah. come over <laughs> right exactly <laughs> and please don't just pop in <laughs> yeah, oh, don't ever pop in on me don't ever <laughs> pop in on me uh -uh. No, no that's just ever. rude no no, that's just rude. I don't hate do it. No, don't do it. If you do, I will set my alarm off on my garage. Oh, uh, yeah. Or like talk to you. Do you have a ring doorbell? You can be like, yes. sorry, we're not here right now. No, but I have the, <laughs> like, I have the ring. Um, the ring, it's a siren. Oh, Short really? Light siren. Mm -hmm. And oh, I do nice. it. I play it. Yeah, I play it on the kids when they ride their bikes on our driveway. Oh, my gosh. Listen. You're, you're like, get off my driveway. Well, Yes, we've talked about this because if you're if you fall, I don't want to be. I'm not culpable for that, but your parents may think I am, and so that no, get off my driveway. Yeah, I guess that's too bad. So sad. Just sad. I've, I've asked yeah. you enough times. I've asked yeah. you enough times. I feel yeah. So instead of going downstairs now, I just set up a siren. Yeah. Well. Anyway, so yes, we'll definitely share this article in the show yeah. notes so you can check it out and, uh, you know, review the list as you'd like. And of course, too, if you have any suggestions, you can email us at I Can't Mom Today Podcast at Gmail or post it in our Facebook group or on Instagram, of course, too, if you have any suggestions or even list your top five. Yeah. You can compare. Yeah. And them. if you heard me yawning just, just now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm no, down to one half calf 
cup of coffee a day. So, oh, damn, girl, you go. Oh, I'm drinking <laughs> highly caffeinated tea. So, I'm good having caffeine for both of us. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Till next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.